Former Granite Stater Peggy Jones says Helene was the worst storm she's seen since she moved to South Carolina from Plymouth in 2019. I haven't seen anything like that before. And I, you know, we had ice storms and stuff and nothing like this. Friday night, Jones says she hunkered down in her home in Lawrence, South Carolina, bracing for the storm. My son and I and the, and the dog were just sitting in the living room. And the next thing you know, about between 8 and 8.30, the crash happened. And this is what you see. That crash was the sound of a tree landing on her roof. Jones says she and her family made it through the night, but she couldn't believe what she saw when the sun came up. The only thing I can compare it to is a war zone. Jones says she's still without power and she can't get a hold of anyone to remove the tree from her house. Everybody's busy now because it was the day after the storm. Volunteers from the Granite State are heading south to help local crews overwhelmed by the destruction. North Carolina was slammed by the storm and FEMA called in mutual aid from New England. A typical deployment can last as long as two weeks, um, but, you know, the teams are never going to go home if there's still work that needs to be done. And, you know, there are still people either unaccounted for or um, in harm's way. Concord Fire Battalion Chief Derek Kelleher is used to leading the swift water rescues back home. He deployed to North Carolina as part of a FEMA relief effort, leading the successful rescue of two people. For WMUR, it's Bellatrist reporting.